this week on Sport Fishing, we're at Catalina Island fishing board the Gale Force. Been here many times on this boat. And today we're fishing with Captain Tommy Lee. And Tommy has us here on the front side of the island where we already got our first yellowtail in the morning. So we're gonna start out here, see if we can get some more yellows, maybe a calico bass, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. guys, Captain Tom Lee over here on the Gale Force out here with Dan Hernandez. Catching these little yellowtail this morning, there's been a mixed bag of yellowtail yesterday. We had 65 of these guys, mixed bag of fish. We're on the front side of Catalina, water's about 64 degrees. It's just starting to get a little uphill current this morning. Starting to see the boat swing here, we're on the front side. We call this Goat Harbor. Been catching yellows all through this area yesterday. Just had to find the right school of yellowtail. There's been mixed grade, oh there's a fresh one. And some guys are just uh, fly lining a nice live sardine. We've got plenty of nice anchovies. The bait company gave us some beautiful bait here. So, guys, throwing the tatty jigs been doing real well yesterday. Just, just out here having a good time with some beautiful weather.
Gaff, Gaff! Keep it in the water. Yeah! There you go. On the floor. Please pull. Go ahead and open your bail up. Keep your thumb on it. Keep it Keep it in the water. I think you have to like that. A little bit higher. Just got bit on that sardine. I think it's a bonita. I don't think it's a yellow, but take a look. The yellow? All right. All right, I got a yellow. First yellow of the day. This one I was winding the bait back in and the fish ate it. Nice yellow. All right, he's right here. I'm gonna bounce him up. Here's a nice little yellowtail. Not a monster, but for Catalina, it would take them all day long. And it's early in the season, it's only May, and we're catching yellowtail this size, fishing aboard the Gale Force. And today, we have a special skipper, Captain Tommy Lee. He just relieves on here once in a while. Fished with them many times in the past. And uh, as we celebrate our 30th year on TV, this is a way, way, great way to start off this season. Beautiful, beautiful yellow tail. Number four. Nice. Fishing a sardine. Everybody's getting yellow tail. I just got this calico. Nice calico though. Legal calico bass. Got that on a sardine. Our skipper's got us here on the front of the island. And it's first stop of the day. We've only been here less than like 30 minutes. We already got a bunch of yellowtail on the boat. This calico's been caught before. I see his lips all chewed up. See how bad this hooked. It's kind of bad, so. Oh, there he is, right there. Got it out. There's the fish. Gonna go ahead and let him go. Let's take a little break from the action here and go to the tackle box and show you the gear we're using for today's trip. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today at Catalina Island. We're fishing for calico bass, looking for yellowtail and bonita, and because of that, you have to bring the equipment for both. Now, the lightest outfit I like is something like this, a bass outfit. I would put 40 to 50 pound spectra below this, 25 pound mono on top, and if I'm fishing right on the surface, fly lining for the calicos, I'd use a small piece of 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. It'll help out a lot. For the yellowtail and the bigger bonita, if you want to go a little bit heavier or something like this, you're going to put 50 pound spectra down below, 30 pound mono on top, and if you're fly lining, 30 pound fluorocarbon. Now we never know what size baits we're going to have. Could be anchovies, could be big sardines. So it's really important that you carry a selection of hooks. I usually have a wide selection, but here you can see a few different sizes. So I have a, a hook small enough for small anchovies and a hook big enough for mackerel and large sardines. So bring the hooks with you. You can't buy them when you're on the boat. You want to make sure you have that gear with you. Now when we're strictly fishing for the calicos, I'll go back to this lighter gear, take off the fluorocarbon, fish the straight 25 pound mono, and tie on the bucktails. I like to use a half ounce bucktail for the heavy kelp and shallow water, and the one and two ounce models get in the deeper water and let that flutter down with a strip of squid. Works really good. This is the basic gear you need. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. There he is. Ooh, ooh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Take him around that corner. Yeah, it's coming in hot. Oh, 
Pound test, fly line B, catching some nice yellows. They're a mixed grade over here today, guys. What a good start here, first stop this morning. Caesar got that one, fly line, sardine, little sink around there. Fishing with our Captain Tommy Lee right here. Been fishing in the industry forever. Nice to have him out with us today here in the Gale Force. And this seems like a nice bite's going on here, huh? Got a nice little uphill current. Water's starting to warm up. Wind stopped blowing for the last couple days now. And these are definitely picking up here, man. Cool. Gonna have a good summer. Right, we're going to take a little break from the action. When we return, we'll be back here with Captain Tommy Lee at Catalina Island aboard the Gale Force. Nice fish. Thank you. Wow. You know? Barracuda. Nice Barracuda. There we go. Here's a nice Barracuda. Just got this guy fishing a sardine, trying to catch a trying to catch a yellowtail. But a nice little Barracuda. This week in the galley, we're in Lakewood, California at Mama Sushi. Standing next to me is the head sushi chef here, Pat. Hey, Pat, thanks for having us over. Yes, sir. And what do you have in store for us today? Uh, today, I'm going to make some, like, uh, which, like, salad. It's kind of like a bulky salad, but I try to put some more uh, vegetable or produce ingredient, more, more ingredients tasty here for All that right, one. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try the salad. Okay, so I'm going to start with a piece of Yellow tail, slide a little bit thicker. Thicker even than like for sashimi? Yeah, yeah, bigger than sashimi style because we have to cut like a square one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. cube it. Yeah, cube. And then next, I have some green apple, a Fuji apple, this one. I'm gonna cut half, the cube it too. This one, a lot of apple. A lot of apple. <laughs> I try to make the colorful for this, this, uh, for this, this dish. Also, can do some, a little bit of cucumber. And grab some, the tomato. Put on the truck. What's next? Next, orange. Seaweed salad. But I need to chop a little because sometimes sometime the seaweed salad is really long. Seaweed salad? 
Do we sell it? Yes. We'll put some jalapeno. But this one, you don't need to keep, just slide it. De depend on your how spicy do you like. You can put more or you can put less for them. <laughs> now, I just put some uh, apple vinegar to make the flavor, but I don't put that much. I just put a little bit. But this is uh, ponzu sauce. This is uh, homemade from Holy Mama Sushi. Official Mama Sushi sauce. Yes. Put chili oil. You like chili oil? Yes, a little spicy. Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to put it on a plate. This Now my place, done. This looks really good, Pat. Thank you. I'm gonna try some yellowtail, some jalapeno, a little tomato there. Mmm, that's delicious. Thank you. I never thought about having a salad coming here at Mama Sushi's, but I think I'll try this. This is really good. Remember, we're here at Mama Sushi, Lakewood, California. Chef Pat, thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. some kelp or something, but that's all right. Keep working, you're doing good, you all right? Just take it nice and easy. Breathe in, nice and easy. Nice and calm. Come on up here. 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 Come on Pound test. Hey, Catalina Island, some of the examples here. Amy just caught a nice big yellowtail. <laughs> We're sitting here at Ship Rock in the Isthmus. Big spot of yellowtail came up. We come down here, threw an anchovy on him. She pitched out a sardine on 15 pound test line. Not a 25 pound yellowtail. She did a great job. You can see it got around the kelp down there and she just kept working it, slowly pulling it through the kelp. Got the fish up and we just gaffed him on the bow. What a great catch. That's your largest yellowtail ever, right? Yes. By far? <laughs> By far. Yeah, it's a monster yellowtail, and the whole crew did a great job to work with her to get her through the kelp. And you got it? Yep. Captain Tommy Lee, like got it for her. Just beautiful, oh. beautiful fish. We're going to take a little break from the action here for the Gale Force Kelly Island. 
And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today here at Catalina Island. And the whole key really was live bait. But more importantly, you had to have good fresh line. People that had old line that they hadn't changed for a season or two, lost a bunch of fish. But people that had fresh line on there, that made all the difference. Having that good fresh line, because you come here sometimes thinking you're just going to get some bottom fish, calico bass, maybe if you're lucky. Today, it was all yellowtail. And you have to have that good fresh line to catch these yellowtail. That's this week's tip of the week. Before you go fishing, you're gonna invest the time to go in the water. You're gonna invest the time to buy a ticket to go on a boat. Invest a little bit of money in your tackle and get a fresh line. You'll be more successful and you have a great time. I wanna thank Captain Lee, Tommy Lee on the boat here on the Gale Force, and the whole crew. We had a great time fishing with them. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.